here you can see my desktop and you can see it's completely black now what I'm going to do now I'm going to come into here and I'm going to launch GIMP so I'll type in GIMP there and I can see it at the top so I'll click GIMP and this splash screen will appear what we can see is we have this window here that I'm moving around and you can see there's my black desktop no icons no images there just all plain black now I'll move that back here however look this moves around so we have a, an unusual situation where we have all of these things floating and all independent of each other now what I'm going to do I'm going to come to file and say new and when I do that it says here do you wish to create a new image and here you can see I've got the width of 640 and I've got the height of 400 and I'm just going to say OK to that and this appears and what we've got in front of us is an area which is bounded by those dotted lines with a yellowish background now if you don't like the look of that you can actually come up to view here and you can switch show layer boundary off and it has that look now but the thing is it has this floating appearance where all of these windows are independent of each other now some people don't like this well you can get used to it quite easily but if you don't like this approach what you can do you can come to window here and you can go into single window mode and what happens now you get this move it around a little maximize it and what you now have you have the entire area here and these here that were floating a moment ago they're all within one individual application you can go back to here now and you can switch off the single window mode and you now have uh, this arrangement where this is floating and if I move this out of the way and I put that back now I can see it's uh, floating around oh, a little bit odd if uh, you don't like that I'll maximize that one and you can see these are floating around on top of it go back to window mode single window mode maximize it and there you have what some people prefer to work with if you like it's a little bit more like Photoshop now